Gomez, uh, to get him yeah, uh, um, I think we've shown in a couple of games, I was trying to think of the other one in particular, but certainly the Hearts game at Tynecastle when we lost six, and we were very short of central midfield players, we had to improvise, play you know, Josh Law in the middle of the park, so you know, that exposed us you know, in terms of us needing a, another you know, experienced central midfield player. And he's certainly that, you know, I know exactly what he is, you know exactly what you're going to get and I think he ticks the boxes we need for that position and the, the, the way we play. He's been playing pretty regularly maybe not the last couple of weeks, but are you surprised that Hearts let him go? Look, I think Hearts are ambitious and Hearts are, you know, when you bring in players you have to let some go, that's a natural process, you know, you, you, you do that and... Uh, you know, he's not been in the team in the last couple of weeks. There's obviously somebody in there that they fancy more. So, you know, we hopefully we've taken advantage of that situation and uh, signed a player that will do well for us. You know, because he can't get in the Hearts team, doesn't mean to say he can't be effective for us. Uh, any other business to come? We hope so. We've got one or two other things in the go, and uh, we're hopeful that one of those, one or two of those will drop. But you know, it's you know, it's like you know, it's you're never sure. I take it, midfield is always a priority. What's the other? Yeah, 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 I'm going to talk about that, you know, what they are, because you know, if we don't get them, it becomes irrelevant, you know, and it just gets people talking. So, you know, we've got one midfield player, and that's a great start, and he's experienced, you know. Um, you know, Saturday we went to Dundee and with Cadden in the team, you know, only playing his second game with Ben playing his eighth game or something like that, you know. So, in order for these young boys to be able to play, um, we need people like Steve McManus alongside Ben and somebody like uh, the lad alongside the um, uh, Cadden and such, you know. So. So the experience is, is important um, to allow these players to play. In line with Joe Rothwell at my is that something you should comment on? No, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Um, what's the situation with Jeremy McFadden? Is his contract expired? Now? Yes, um, I'm not exposed. I'll speak to James probably after this meet, this conference. Um, you know, he was supposed to be going to America. I think that's fallen through. So if he's going to stay around here and there's nobody else, that you know steals him away from us, then he'll be welcome to stay here, you know, a, a bit longer. So that's something you're going to offer him that. Yeah. Um, just going into the, the game tomorrow night. Obviously, it's another chance to, to close the gap and the teams above you. You're looking to, be keen to get out and play again after the way the game ended on, on, on Saturday. Yeah. Well, we were obviously disappointed with it. The, the, the outcome, but um, you know, generally it was a decent performance. It was a good performance. Um, we want to take that into the game uh, tomorrow night. We need to take that into the game tomorrow night. I've seen Thistle a couple of times recently. They're another one of the improving teams. There's no doubt about it. I saw them beat St Man in the cup, and they're decent. You know, they've got a lot of different assets to their their abilities. Um, they're well organised, and uh, you know, in the difficult conditions that are inevitably going to. Uh, it be, where the game is going to be played, and you know, we'll, you know, the team, both teams are going to have to dig in as they did on Saturday. I thought both teams made a good fist of it, and it'll be the same tomorrow night. They're going to have to play the conditions as much as play Thistle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, apart from that. Gomez. I hope so. Yeah, we'll see how he, he does. He's done all right. He's trained with us today. See how he is and how he feels himself. I'll speak to him about it. But yeah, I would hope that he'd be available. Of course, he has to displace someone, or we have to leave someone out for him to play. That's what people forget. You know, we went there on Saturday and we had no failures. You know, we really did play well, and you know, he, he young Cadden right through. I mean, he was possibly our man of the match. You know, so it's difficult to uh, to leave him out. You know, so you know that he. Play an extra man in midfield, for instance. You know, when you've got uh, 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 Pearson and uh, Lasley, then you need to leave either Marvin or um, Cadden out. Uh, Lasley had played with a bit of a sore shoulder. Maybe he'll struggle. I don't know. Uh, he trained today. He's probably going to be okay. So there's going to be some decisions to make. But that's why you sign players so you have options.